Hey, what's up, YouTube? Xbox Fusion here, and in today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a, a multiplayer video game on Unity 3D. So, yes, let's start. Okay, first of all, you need to download the scripts that I will leave on the description, and you need to install Unity 3D. And if you don't, if you don't have it installed already, so just go to unity3d.com and download. Then download Unity 3.3 and then save file. I, I already have it. So. Okay, let me just make a new scene. Uh, let me just name the scene multiplayer. Okay, so the scripts will be like that. All of those scripts will be in there description. So first thing you have to do to create it's created the rain. Okay, now go now to to make it a smaller go to terrain and set resolution now make it a smaller I'm not gonna make a huge map so I'm just gonna make it uh, uh, 50 then go to terrain length 50 and yes set resolution and it will make it a slow uh, small I mean so if you want a big map just make it just increase the size now let's change the color and to change the color just press on the terrain then go right here and then edit textures add texture whatever you pronounce that then just search for grass and we'll put this one the dark grass because I like it uh, if you wanna create trees just go right here then edit trees, add trees, and all objects. Uh, I just I put some trees from <coughs> from the website. You can download them for free. Uh, I I might leave a link in the description. So, yeah, let me find a tree that I like. Oh, here. Then add. Then tree density. Make it smaller. Cause you know you don't want a lot of trees in one spot. Okay. So. So just leave it like that. You can add a lot of trees if you want. It's your decision. Now let's add uh, light. And to add light, go to object, game object, then create other, then. Uh, point light then you have this then select this tool then drag it over then make uh, if you wanna make it bigger just press this dot and then make it bigger uh, I'm gonna leave it like that because I like the how it looks like oh, let's put it up okay <coughs> now uh, if you can see I have a lot of uh, terrains and stuff in here uh, in your case it, it's just gonna have the standard accents and uh, standard accents mobile and another, another things maybe if you download some stuff they have and go uh, if you want to add in the skybox just go to a standard accents and then sky boxes then look at the sky, sky box you like I will I will select this one because I like the color and all that stuff then to add it go to edit render settings just select this one and drag it over to right here sky box material and now if you can see it's right there uh, I don't think you can see it. Okay, so now you what you want to make? It's a player. To make a player, 
um, just go to the standard accents, uh, character controllers, and first person shooter. I would like to show you uh, how to make a. Maybe let's make one really fast. Let me open Cinema 4D. I'm just gonna make a kind of creeper little thing from Minecraft. Maybe not that good just to show you and then how to put it on the Unity 3D, how to uh, import it on 3D, uh, Unity 3D so just let me make a really fast thing maybe no I'm not gonna make good stuff okay, let me just make a little monster kind of square monster okay Put our cylinder. Whatever. What the fuck? Ah, uh, it won't have any animation. It won't walk. It just will slide. I'm doing this because just to show you how to import it to Unity 3D. Oh shit. So don't say anything that doesn't have any animation and it's so likely I'm just doing this to show you how to import it to uh, Unity 3D Let me make a, a ugly face Okay. Oops. Front view. Oh, holy shit. Sorry. Excuse my language, boys. Just looking at how ugly this thing is at. Maybe I'm gonna I'm gonna make oh shit. Uh this is part one because this is taking so long just to build a small uh character. So yeah. This will be part one and I will make another part how to add the scripts and etc etc. Okay. Okay, so there you go, that's our beautiful monster. Okay, let's add some color. Maybe in Unity we'll, we will add some color. Now to export it to to the file that Unity supports, go to File, then Export, and go to right here, F. FBX 2010.2 and name it um whatever you want monster so I'm just gonna save it on the desktop 
because it will be faster to find the now you have it right here now select this open the unity now just drag oh, I'm sorry I'll file and let me remember uh, open project now just grab the monster and, uh, and drag it to the project okay and it's right here see as you can see it's right there and we can import it to here and let's see how much time do we have left okay okay we can add some colors add some materials um, you can make a a folder and to make a folder you right click and create folder name it monster just to put the monster in the materials on oh shit Ugh. yeah monster okay now grab the monster and put it inside the folder and make some materials um, let's see create material create three material 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 oh, I'm sorry materials so there you go uh, color one black then the other one just gonna make it dark green like that and the other one will be uh, gray Oh, and for the eyes, yeah. For the eye will be uh, blue. Okay, so now we have it right there. So uh, <coughs> So now open the monster thing and this cylinder it's the eye I think okay oh no yeah it's the eye oh uh, why did I build the materials oh, we don't need it so just delete just go to the cylinder then add the color that you want oh shit why did I delete the materials now I, I remember that's why I create the materials okay wait okay that's why okay so we just make it one color whatever just make it gray there you go okay so there you go we have the monster and we have the plane the we have everything right there we have the skybox the terrain and everything so see you next time peace